I don't know how many of you are still following the Java releases which are happening every 6 months. Last week Oracle had announced Java 17 and also along with that they have announced a lot of changes with respect to licensing for its new Java versions and the subsequent releases. Let's look at what are these in this particular video. So the website which I have is inside.java. This is the community version of the um, website which releases a lot of blog posts around what's happening within the Java community. If you want to look at the official notification, there is a blog which is published by Oracle which says introducing the free Java license. Basically, Java is now free. That's what they claim. If you know what happened in the licensing battle, Oracle had created something called as Oracle Technology Network License. which was a license where you have to pay for every oracle jdk which you are running in production when you are licensing your application or when you are commercializing your application so that's when oracle said you have to pay oracle a fee for that right and this was announced in 2017 now oracle is reverting that back and then they are going into something called as oracle no fee terms and conditions license right this is a specific license created by oracle where they say you can use the oracle jdk this is not the open jdk this is the oracle jdk you can still use oracle jdk for free right and you can create applications and deploy applications in productions and you can commercialize them right basically you can make money out of the oracle applications or the jvm applications which you are creating out of oracle jdk earlier this was reverted in the 2017 version but now oracle has realized that uh, for the community it's best to have a no fee license which will make sense for everybody and oracle is embracing that it's a very good move if you ask me because a lot of people are using open jdk and people are going from oracle jdk to different versions and different distributions of jdk now with oracle providing the support and free license for the um, oracle jdk versions it's a good move in the right direction that will force a lot of people to adopt oracle jdk and use them in production right and also move towards the new and the latest releases whenever they are pushed if you had earlier noticed there was a 6 month um, release cycles or release cadence they call it right if you see from java 8 to java 9 it was a leap of 3 years for oracle to launch J jdk 9 but still a lot of people did not use jdk 9 right again java 10 it took some 6 months and that's where oracle said we are going towards the 6 months release cadence and this is where the whole licensing came into picture i don't know why oracle has changed their mind to give a free license uh, right but then it's a good thing right i mean obviously from there we have got a lot of uh, java releases and i'm pretty sure majority of the applications are not even on jdk 11 right i mean still a lot of applications are stuck with jdk 8 some of them are in jdk 11 but i don't think people have gone beyond jdk 11 and if you look at it jdk 11 came almost like 3 years back more than 3 years back and the next long term release of the jdk is the jdk 17 uh, which just got uh, released last week now with this move a lot of enterprises will be now looking to move from jdk 8 to maybe jdk 17 directly right i mean that could be even be possible because it's a long term version and it's a free license right i mean who would want to miss the free stuff right um, so along with this there are a lot of other features which are present as a part of the jdk 17 and if you are jumping from jdk 8 to 17 or 11 to 17 uh, there are tons of features which are coming in right i don't think i made any video on jdk 17 or maybe intermediary versions or with their features if you think it would make sense for me to make a video do let me know in the comment section below i will try to explore the features of java 17 and how we can leverage java 17 to be more productive in short java 17 is free with oracle jdk itself you don't have to use open jdk in order to get a free licensing and oracle will still continue the 6 months cadence and the next version of uh, the jdk is called as oracle jdk 18 which is going to be in march 2022 also they have done one more change which is reducing the long term releases from 3 years to 2 years so earlier every 3 years you will have a long term release now the next version would be java 21 from java 17 to java 21 it's going to be just 2 years right that's the plan and every long term release obviously um, it will be free for you to use and every 2 years you can just move to new versions that way you will still be in the free version and also still be in the long term support version there is also a new website launched by the community called the dev.java um this is just the uh, new developer community website where you can get a lot of features for example there is the try java where you can 
uh, try java code right now it is not up and running but still it is going to be coming soon right so if you are a java developer and if you are actively doing a lot of java development i would suggest you to take a look at dev.java that summarizes what i wanted to discuss in this short video oracle jdk is going to be free from jdk 17 and beyond see you again in the next video thank you very much